Lisa, we all have questions. People ask and people wonder sometimes at night when we get away from our jobs and our work, uh, deep questions about the universe or about what it's all about. When you as a state-of-the-art physicists, mm -hmm. think about nature, about physics. What are some of the fundamental questions that you ask yourself about what it all means? You know, I think the first point is that there's sort of always an interplay between sort of big questions and s smaller questions, questions that you think you can actually answer. Mm -hmm. um, so, and some of the small questions often give you surprising clues into uh, bigger ideas. Um, some, I wouldn't call these small questions, but some of the basic questions that drive us as particle physicists, and really have been driving us since I was a graduate student even, would be questions like, why are the masses of particles what they are? Why are they related in the way they are? Um, another really important question is, why is gravity so much weaker than the other fundamental forces we know about? If you look at an electron, gravity is like 43 orders of magnitude smaller, and the force of electromagnetism between two electrons. Why is that? Um, and that's actually a question that we think has to have an answer because otherwise our theory looks almost inconsistent. So these could be clues that drive us into bigger questions, mm. such as what is the nature of space-time itself? Um, we think there are three dimensions. Are there really only three dimensions of space? Um, what are the symmetries that that space-time obeys? Could be that there are even exotic space-time symmetries. What does that um, mean? So for example, quantum mechanics divides particles into bosons and fermions, particles that like to stick together, particles that like to be apart. Um, it could be that there's a symmetry that relates these two if the world is, in fact, what we call supersymmetric. So it could be that there are partners to all the particles we see that we haven't yet seen. Um, but then there are other basic questions, like really what's out there in the universe? What is the dark matter? What is this very important question is what is the dark energy? Um, we see this dark energy permeating the universe. Um, we don't know why it's there, what it is, why it has the value it does. And the even bigger question is, why isn't it enormous? Uh, again, if we just took our theories and just predicted what we expected it to be, we think it should be really big. So the question is, why is the dark energy what it is? Um, um, other questions that underlie perhaps things are, uh, is there a theory of quantum gravity? What is it? Can we make predictions with it? So see, these are some of the really important questions that drive us as physicists today. And uh, how, how do these questions relate? Or maybe that's a, that's a meta question to see, well, do they relate? Any theory of quantum gravity will have ingredients that could enter into particle physics. Um, if we understand what the solution is to these questions like the weakness of gravity, it could give us clues on about what the theory we're matching onto is, what underlies what we've seen so far. Are there extra dimensions of space? Is there this symmetry in nature? Are there more particles than we've seen? So the two can be very closely connected. In terms of what is the dark energy, that's sort of an outlier. We, we'd like to believe it's going to clue us into what's going on, but we don't yet know. Yeah, that, that is one of the most fascinating ones because I guess for a long time people thought that the, the so-called cosmological constant must be zero. Right. And now it... it, 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 it Although it, it's worth noting that no one had a good theory of why it's zero. <laughs> so, it although just sort people, of seemed to make sense. It's, it seemed to make sense, except it didn't make sense. Yeah. So it's it was um, so it's a little hard to how to do that. A lot of people said, "Well, you know, zero is a number that should have an explanation." But the fact is, no one had a good answer for zero, so no one has a good answer for this small value. Okay. Um, people think about exotic ideas that could be different universes with different energies, and maybe it will turn out to be right. But I think a lot of us still would like to still pursue and this question and see: Is there a real answer? That is predictive. But as you said, to have uh, um, the um, cosmological constant or the force of energy, the vacuum energy of space be so small and yet not zero, and that mm -hmm. seems to be needed to at least drive the universe the way it is today. Acceleration with, with, and the expansion. Expansion, but also just that amount so that galaxies could have formed in the right times. There's a lot of people who who take that and, and develop a, uh, an observational selection principle, an anthropic principle, multiple universes. A lot of things have developed out of that one piece of data. Um, yeah, in some sense. Um, but the question is, what do we do with that? Uh, is it right? Do we know? Should we still be looking for alternative answers? Um, is that really the explanation? Um, so there's a lot of ideas that people like to hear about the multiple universes or whatever. But we're really interested in things that we can test. And um, also, we'd like to be able to really make predictions at the end of the day. And that might involve uh, giving up a lot of productivity. So we just don't know if that's right yet or not. 
so do you see the, the, the dark energy as perhaps one of the, you called it an outlier. Do you see it as something that is, um, is, is, is so unusual or, or? Well, it's something that you, you, particle physics had no answer for. You'd like to think that if you have a theory of quantum gravity, that it gives you a predictive answer for that. And it still hasn't done that. So the question I, I think I was answering at the time was, how are these related, these right. various answers? And the point is, we have no clue what the answer is about this energy. It might be this landscape of different universes. It might not be. So it's hard to say how it ties things together, given that we <laughs> don't know what it is. But you think it has to be solved as part of some ultimate theory. Or, 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 in order to tie everything together, whether it's quantum gravity or, or extra dimensions, that you need to resolve that dark energy as part of as part. You know, the question, do you need to, is a hard one. But certainly a satisfactory theory would explain this very mysterious number. Um, at this point, we just have to say, whatever we're doing, we set it to be what it is, and then go and proceed from there. So that's a big assumption we make, and we're just putting it in because that's what we've seen experimentally. But it doesn't mean we understand it. And so, again, we're just looking for deeper understanding sometimes of phenomena in the universe. When possible, we'd like deeper understanding with predictive consequences. Mm -hmm. And so, will it work? We don't yet know. Pe people have been trying to answer this question yeah. for a while. But people ha haven't explored all possible ideas, so who knows what will happen. Which of these areas is your primary focus in, in terms of... Um, I like direction? to build up from things that we can see. Um, so I like to focus, to some extent, on particle physics. Um, questions like the weakness of gravity, the relations of masses, and ask... Because I, I want to know at the end of the day, are my ideas right? So I'm looking forward to the day, um, in the near future, hopefully, when the Large Hadron Collider or some other experiments will go out and test some of these ideas. And what might be the result of that? I mean, you, you can be able to, through some of that data, uh, demonstrate either the, 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 the truth or falsity. No, normally, That's the goal. <laughs> yeah, normally, it's falsity uh, for, for theories of, of extra dimensions. Do you think that can for come example, out? For example, it's one of the many possibilities of what could come out in the next few years. And we're looking forward to finding out what it is.